Right, so as you can see there, my throttle cable is uh, on its very last leg. So I decided to ride 30 miles with it just like that and then change it by the side of the road. Uh, of course, I didn't make a video because um, filming camera tripod by the side of the road with people walking past might seem a bit weird and probably very wind noisy. So tools used was zip tie and all the other tools that you get with the standard Honda toolkit, which is really good. If you've got some hand guards, you'll need some Allen keys perhaps to like take them off. But that's the first thing you've got to do is remove your hand guards, take off your hand guard, get out of the way. The two screws on the back of the uh, kill switch and starter, undo them, take that case off, then release the two screws here to undo and then also undo these two nuts. Once that's done, you get to the actual bit where the throttle cable goes in at the top. Easy enough. And then you want to undo that bolt that holds it right there. Make sure you make, take note of which cable sits on top of each other. Now take your new cable and zip tie it to the end of the old cable and put it through. Up or down. I did it up through the bike. You can do it down. It might be easier going down. I would recommend installing the cable at this end first because this end is plastic and the other end is metal. And then it's a case of, well, hooking it onto the metal bit nice and easy and then put it back into the thing just like it, as it was before. No, I did not take a picture of the clean one going in. And then it's just a simple case of putting that back on, screwing the two screws, getting all back together like that and putting it all back to how it was. Just make sure your cable A and cable B are working properly and they're off to the side and not to affect the handguard. Anyway, that's it. Just a quick video to show. Sorry it wasn't actually a video video, but hopefully that helps anyone. Anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching. Ciao.